everyone, welcome back. We're playing some Nar Tristana today. This has been a pretty interesting deck around the ladder. It kind of came out of nowhere because there weren't a ton of significant buffs to the deck, but all of a sudden it's been one of the most popular decks I've faced and one I really enjoy playing myself. I only started playing it like two days ago though. I really haven't played much lore this patch, uh, but this was one I picked up after I got to Diamond. I played like a whole bunch of Norris Way in like 30 some games to get to Diamond. And after that, I really haven't played that much except for I think one stream and then like five games of this, but I won all five games on this deck and it felt so fun. I really was curious about how it feel. I don't know, like, you know, sometimes the aggro decks, the, mo the most interesting interaction is more like the passes and which creatures to attack with. But this one actually felt really interesting. Uh, lots of like little decisions of like, do you pick the aggressive creatures with Bandle City Mayor or do you take the more mid-range threats? Things like that, just really interesting. Plus some cards I just never use. Like, I don't think I have any mastery on Tristana before this patch ever like I don't think I ever played Shasana and it's actually a fun character she has lots of funny voice lines I don't know it's really cool so we'll get into this some interesting like little cards I like I enjoy the Teemo version I haven't played the Nar version yet but I think you're okay with getting away with the extra aggressive one drop here rather than Nar because you have lots of way of making Teemo an actual threat like you go kind of wide pretty quick and your opponent isn't like super threatened by Teemo as like in a puff caps deck where they're always trying to kill Teemo right away in this, like, they're kind of like, well, I have to save my removal for Tristana, or maybe even a Bandle City Mayor, or something like that. But Teemo, if... I've actually leveled him up in those five games. I think I leveled him up twice already, just from him attacking the Nexus. Uh, and then you can get, like, a Wandering Shepherd onto Teemo. Uh, specifically, I've put, like, the the one that like, can't block. It's, like, that plus three, plus two, but can't block. And it's also in Teemo's, like, a four-power elusive. You have lots of control tools, like Quietus. Group Shot is usually enabled for two damage. Um, you have Minion to help kind of, like block defensively while you're like trying to build up your own board to keep attacking you don't need to sacrifice your own good units you have three vengeances to kill your opponent's big threats two atrocities to help finish off the game it just feels really cool it's a fun deck i enjoy playing it and it's done pretty well so let's take it on stream and see how we do like i said i haven't played it a ton so we'll see how it goes but it definitely feels like, you have some flexibility to a certain point. I'm not sure if this is a good matchup or not, though. I think I'm absolutely going to keep aloof. But I don't think the others work here. None of them really do anything. Wallop isn't very useful in the early game. Uh, Hate Spike doesn't kill Vagar. And Tenor of Terror, we can't really activate yet. So, I definitely would have preferred a more aggressive hand than this. Uh, obviously, we mulligan three cards and still didn't quite get a very good early hand. I imagine this match is pretty tough, actually. I feel like it's very difficult for us to kill our champions efficiently. Like, we'd have to spend a Vengeance on, to, on Vagar. But, um... Like, Buzzer Shot plus Poké Sticks not the end of the world if we have this reduced. We'll see how it goes. We'll play Grandfather Fae here. Could get Quietest, but I want to have something potentially to target with Wandering Shepherd next turn if possible. It's a little bit of a problem. I guess that'll open attack and then we can Poké Stick. Oof, that's, that's really, really bad. Okay. So I'm not going to want to give them the easy hit of, like, Catalyzer here and then let them get another hit in combat later on. So I might just kill them here. I really don't want to get this darkness up, or else our champions just never ever live, ever. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit two resources here. Guys, I don't usually think they play many protection spells except for, like, a stress defense. So I guess that's something to look out for in that situation. So maybe it wasn't worth it, but... Keeping Darkness at 2 is a pretty big deal. We don't need to play Aloof Travelers right now. It's things like Decineta that we're more worried about. Uh, ooh, Spellman is kind of interesting in this case, but I think I'll go Fearsome. Does it matter? What photo do they have as blockers? I don't think they play Junk Construct. Okay, maybe I'll get punished here for going Combat Real. I guess we'll figure out. I just don't remember the darkness off the top of my head of what they have as a two power blocker here. Other than like a catalyzer. Because like Vile Feast won't do it. Popping the spell shield here. Oh, it's a Go Hard deck. Okay, is this a Catalog of Regrets deck? That'd be kind of interesting. Catalog of Regrets Darkness. I feel like that's a version I don't see too often. That's fine. Obviously, like, we prefer the equipment to stay around, but they just used two cards and they didn't even kill a unit.
We can't kill Vagar. If we go into next turn, we have six, seven, eight, nine mana. I think it's fine to just play Luf here, because we can't kill Vagar either way. And I don't particularly want to pass this turn. Getting rid of a Vengeance is good. Tristan will come down leveled and make an Improviser. That's actually really, really huge. Wow, okay. Well, now what do we do? They almost certainly don't have Ruination. How greedy can we get here if they play another Vengeance? If they have like second Vengeance in hand? They Vengeance Tristana. We could Puzzling Signpost get in one turn? Hmm. Deal two to an enemy for three mana. So they almost certainly can't really do much this turn with this. That scares us? Like, we could kill one of these little dudes, right? Does that matter? I think we're good to go Watering Shepherd here. And maybe look for Overwhelm on Tristana. Or do we want to spread out the damage? But what are the odds we get a plus three power on the Aloof, right? So I think I'll just I'll just go Tristana. Okay. <laughs> Harp on Sunders. We were in a decent spot there. I think we timed that aloof kind of okay. Getting rid of the vengeance is obviously huge when you're getting your Tristana down. But like, I feel like that still can go so wrong. If that catalyzer got a hit earlier on, Tristana could have died unless we spent a puzzling signpost on a darkness. But then at that point, we just replay, we play Wandering Shepherd. Then Tristana's up to like potentially six HP. Now they'll have to spend two darknesses. Once they buff it potentially, so like three darknesses at the two damage level. Maybe we're in a really good spot there anyways. I'm not sure. This hand looks really nasty. I'm going to keep this entire hand. Pirates is actually really interesting because it's always a deck you see at the start of the season do really, really well. Um, yeah, okay. We'll just play Teemo here. Next turn we'll play Minion. And I'll open attack because they might want to play Make It Rain and I don't want them to kill both of our units. And since they might, or they might want to make it rain before Timo hits. And if they let it hit, then we can play minion. I'm very happy to sacrifice Timo though in this matchup if we... What? It's kind of annoying. But we'll have minion. As long as they don't have a make it rain here, we're okay. But uh, yeah, let me check the rune right here. A uh, win right here. What did I just say? Rune? rune rate? What am I saying? I'm getting mind melded by Rise. Okay. Uh, what am I looking for? Pirates. That's right. Okay. So Misfortune to Twisted Fate has a 51% rate. That's actually pretty low. I think I'm just going to ping here. That saves us a good amount of damage. We don't really need to play a unit this round when it saves about the same amount of damage. So we can just save a little bit of mana, hopefully. Yeah, we're definitely getting really burnt out here. But uh, anyways, my point was... What was my point about this? Well, I think we almost certainly block here. And now do we save two damage or just kill picks? I feel like it's probably pretty bad if we... If we don't save some health. Maybe, maybe it was smarter to play one and Shepard here. I think that's actually might have been better because we could have buffed out one of our units to be too big to die that round. And now we can't really do too much this turn. Oh, this is actually pretty good. I'm going to kill picks. It keeps making these guys so our, our units can't block it very well. No, I suppose it doesn't matter at this point. I think we'll just kill the actual unit. Because then we only need to chump block one unit, right, type thing. We can chump block as long as we need. I would like to get Tenor of Terror down. Okay, and our opponent taps out too. And I'll take the attack while they don't have Make It Rain. 
So if they want to trade, that's fine for us anyways. Because they're probably just going to want to buff Zap Spray for anyways to push the guarantee damage. So I'm fine for taking the trade to get an impact damage in. Plus it saves our unit from potentially being Twisted Fate or Make It Rained. Really? I thought they were going to push the guaranteed damage. I'm actually very happy with this. Quiet, Only pushing 2 damage I think is fine for us. Hmm. I think we can just play our 2 cards this turn. We don't need to play aloof right now. We can open with aloof. Oh, that's kind of awkward, isn't it? Neither of those are particularly good on minion. <laughs> Scout is obviously a much higher upside if we hit Tristana soon, but... I wonder if they're playing a Decimate list. They are. Okay, well one Decimate down is good. Misfortune's a bit of a problem. We could Hate Spike, but... Attacking doesn't really do much for us here. I'm just going to Pogi Stick. I'm gonna quiet a zap actually. I don't think we can block zap spray. We can't really stop zap spray fin very effectively. And I have to. I guess I have to attack with minion, right? Ooh, shoot! I forgot about that. We can't really block with a minion, so I'm going to attack. Offer the trade. Or um, and if they give us an action next turn, we just get the replay minion. Because I'm happy with this, because we couldn't actually kill Shell Shocker by blocking with minion next turn, right? Vengeance is good. We don't have any protection. Oh no, we do. We can st we can stop a um. Noxing for over here. Okay, I will hate spike here because this will go back to one HP, so we can poke stick it if necessary. Our hand is uber awkward though. This pex is causing havoc. I want to get him out of range of the Misfortune's attack, like the Love Tap. We are- oh no, this puts us down to 6, okay. So we're not quite- okay. That's fine, still. We're not totally dead. But Misfortune kind of ruins our day. Hmm. Yeah, alright. I don't get that, man. Why so toxic? I just don't see the enjoyment in that. But, um, we kind of got burnt out. They just aggroed us down to the point where, like, we never found any units to stabilize or, like, put enough pressure on them, really, to, like, get back in the game. And things like Atrocity are obviously clunky, but you can't really complain about that. We're still almost certainly dead, but I'll... I want to see... Yeah, I mean, well, they're, they're always just going to have to burn. And, like, stuff like that. We're never winning. I'll just happen in the next game. I do like playing against Pirates, though. It is a fun matchup to test your deck. Like, if we look here, what are our best units against... Yeah, things like Bandle City Mayor, I think, is a good draw against Pirates. It's a, it's a good draw for making your units cheap, so you can kind of keep up with the tempo. Plus, getting bigger units that can block several times is very important. Oh, okay. This is an interesting Soul Cleave deck, I think, right? They just, like, 
kill Scion to revive two copies of him. That's pretty nasty. Wow, I really like this hand too. We get pretty hardcore roasted though. By an aggressive draw. I really, really like the Loof and Vengeance here though. But I think I think we have to pitch them. I think it's too slow against their game plan. Like we just don't have any ways of dealing with fearsome blockers. I'm fine with letting this go. We save more, we save more damage with group shot later, when they play like a fearsome stygian onlooker. So I don't I don't want to waste a group shot there. Yeah, like, what is this? I wonder... I guess they're, they're leveling up Nocturne by attacking with these guys. Ooh. Interesting. We could play Bomber Twins the next turn. Plus Tristana? That seems good. Maybe it's just Hungry Owlcat, though. Or Grandfather Fae. Hmm. Well, this will be... This, we won't be able to play both units next turn. This will be a guaranteed Fearsome Blocker. Maybe it's just Combat Cook. I think I'm going to go Combat Cook and just Vengeance Callista. Okay. I think that's fine. I think we're okay with that trade. Hmm, maybe we're not. What if we what if we hate spike? In order to group shot um Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Maybe this is silly. But I'm gonna go like this to set up group shot and Clista instead of vengeance, because we're not gonna have the six minute of really spare anytime soon. Giving Tristan any extra health, does that do much? I'm not sure if it does. Ooh. Hmm. Do I want to give Teemo the extra health? Does it matter? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him safe from a vile feast. Plus it puts Tristana into a little bit more effective range in case they play good blocker. Okay, I'll just take our attack here. I don't think I... Or, I guess... I guess... Because just... Close to levels if we play Tristana this turn. So I'll just get in like this. I don't know. Maybe that turn was a little awkward. Does playing Tristana really do much? Then they just block with the Boisterous Host. Alright, they tapped out enough mana to really level up Clist. Like, no Glimpse Beyond or anything. I don't know how careful I need to be about playing... Tristana here. I think we're okay to just slam her whenever it comes time, like next turn potentially. Probably just play like aloof and then. Interesting. I guess we could just combat cook. Then what do they do? Hmm. Jeepers. I really want to play aloof though. I guess we could just play Tristana this turn plus Wallop. Maybe we just try to stop them from attacking at all. Not even I know what I'm cooking up. And now do we take the block? I don't think so.
And I don't think we wallop either. I want to save this for like a Scion. I want to save this for Nocturne. So maybe maybe we can. We're just going to Vengeance Nocturne anyways. So maybe we're okay to take this box. Save some health. Hmm. I don't know. That feels awkward again. I'm not quite sure what to do there. And we can't level up just on this turn. So we just play aloof. Jeepers, I guess so. Because we can attach to that Fixum and they'll, he'll be a good attacker. Wraithclaw is gone, that's good. Hmm. Okay, so Fixum 5,000 or 5, doesn't actually let the aloof attack right now. I guess we'll just throw a team out under the bus next turn. It doesn't particularly matter at this point if he's around. It's always nice to get the puff caps once he's leveled, but this is a little bit dangerous. We do have wallop and vengeance, so we'll we'll be able to live next turn, and then we'll develop the following turn with Tristana. Maybe maybe I spent too long getting Tristana set up, but we didn't have the most aggressive hand, so she wasn't leveled very early on. That seems really bad. What if we just Vengeance that and then stun Nocturne? I think that's okay. They can't attack actually with Nocturne or Callisto right now. Timo just kills them, so we can pass first. And the next turn, just sun is leveled. Oh. All right, that's a pretty decent trade, I think. They only have one card in hand. So, do we keep up enough mana to attach a weapon? Or do we just tap out with our actual units? I'm kind of tempted to just go aloof here, plus the weapon. Then Callista levels, is that a problem? We made it. Yay. Pokestick. Ooh, baby, two puff caps. Oh wow, they have a really cheap hand. I'll keep this guy back as a fearsome blocker because Clist is probably gonna level here. We also have atrocity soon. We only need to deal two more damage and Tristan is in atrocity range. Or just play like a unit. But we'll, we'll be tapped out of mana for that this turn. But. I think we have enough on board. The unit only takes damage, it doesn't take spells, so I think we're okay to pass here. We'll see if they have like, if they just tap deck to sign or something. Maybe I should have just killed her, I guess we're taking a lot of damage, huh? I think that's fine though. I guess I should have Vengeance Drone stack. I thought I was just too spooked by like a Scion, I suppose. Not that it particularly matter if we'd even want to Vengeance him. I think I'll look for Overwhelm on Tristana. Nice.
And our opponent's only going to have like one card in hand, possibly, if they top deck it, that could stop Tristana. And then we can just atrocity from there. Alright, GG. I do like Gnar. Oh, I even actually have the title of this deck named Gnar Tristana. I literally just noticed that. I've played this deck about, what, 10 times now? And I literally didn't even notice I had actually named it Gnar Tristana. Oopsies. Hmm, Ash Thresh. Cool. I might just use another Slow Cleave deck. I'll take Vengeance for sure. I don't know if we need Pokey Stick. They might play stuff like Avaros and Sentry. Omenhawk. I'm not quite sure what the early units might be. One of the things I'm particularly interested in shooting. And this hand's really good. I will play Teemo. We can play... Ben we can play Grandfather Fate this turn. But I think it's more efficient... If you pass, play Banal City Mayor on 3, and then the following turn play 1 mana Grandfather Fae, 1 mana Owl Cat, things like that. I guess we should probably be a little spooked about Avalanche, huh? So Banal City Mayor is a lot safer here. It's also pretty good. Okay, I'm pretty happy with them taking that attack. They could have ended that round, it would have been kind of awkward for us. But, um, people always want to kill Teemo. <laughs> Ooh, wow, interesting. Uh, I think this gets shut down too much by freezes. So if we're going to just like a similar unit... This combat cook seems pretty decent, I think. Well, we can only play one unit this turn if we go with one of these two. But they'd both be safe from Avalanche, which would be really good. Or we could go one, two, three, four. I think I'm happier to just play Combat Cook. Hmm. Probably Phantom Pain. I guess I guess a scout is fine as well because that's really good once you get your stun on board. I'm going to group shot this first just to m make our attack better, and then if they use a freeze here on the combat cook, I'm fine with that. Sure thing. I want to keep up Vengeance. I will unite the <gasps> Although I'm sure they have ways to revive them, obviously. I'll play Lou. We're getting close enough to the late game where... I want to get rid of their stuff, yeah. <laughs> like Renation. I'm just gonna clear the way for our attackers. Another aloof. This game is definitely kinda awkwardly long. I don't know if I was too slow developing around avalanches and stuff. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I have to vengeance her before she attacks, because then um the rhyme pain wolf gets to kill stuff for free. Sure, we can play Grandfather Fay, and then if they try to attack with the Rhyme Pain Wolf, group shot will deal two damage. 
I don't think they should attack with the Bjerg. We just block with Minion. We're really happy to replay him. Interesting. I wonder why. I guess they want to stop the buffs coming through. Hmm. I don't know what that was. Maybe a Trollchant or something? I imagine they would have gone through it if it was Trollchant. I don't know. Alright, we'll open with a loof for sure. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Another ruination, my goodness. I don't Yeah, that's kind of annoying. We have, we're gonna run into that at some point this game. We would have lost by now though if we just let Ash and Beer and the Wolf run rampant by now though. Quietus? Hmm. Oh, sure, sure. I'm gonna get aggressive here, though. We need to start attacking at some point. Eventually we're gonna draw like a Justana, right? At least that's the, that's the plan. <laughs> and so getting these guys out of the way is pretty nice. We're, we have still the full next health ourselves, so we're not really in danger. That's huge. Ah, oh, gosh, that's so bad. I mean, we can't do anything about that though. We kind of just have to let it go. Shoot, are you kidding me? What do we do about that? <laughs> We kind of just lose. They're going to freeze three units. I don't know how to play against this deck. Maybe this is just a really bad matchup for us. But I feel like we don't really have any ways of interacting with this except for our vengeances. I mean, I guess we just didn't drop Buster Shot too. But I'm like, are we just supposed to keep up vengeance for their Soul Cleave? Because if we don't kill those earlier Ashes, like, aren't we just in a worse spot earlier on? You know what I mean? Hmm, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I have no idea how to play that matchup. That's very interesting. Plus, they're also just very good at clogging up the board early on. Avros and Sentry, Iceville Archer. We have to be worried about freezes. We didn't trust Tristana either, which would have been nice for helping our little units actually attack through their units. Because like our babbling, the babbling Bjerg stopped our attacks. Um, you know things like that. But maybe I just need to be more aggressive. I'm never really sure in that matchup though, because I feel like if we do, we run really hard into things like the box, the a uh, avalanche. Okay. Does dealing three to a unit matter in this matchup? Probably kills some of their equipped units. Is it something we want in our main opening hand though? Maybe. If you've played cards from four regions, I feel like that's pretty easy for us to hit. We'll, we'll try it out. That's fine, this guy still trades into our um, minion. It obviously puts him out of range of Pogi Stick. Which would have been nice, because they're not going to have many units that are prone to a pokey stick. I'll probably just play minion here, though. We're a little slow. They got on the play, and we're a little 
far behind in actions, so I'm just gonna go on the defensive for a turn or two until he can get set up. That sucks. But we'll get two damage in, which can be important in this matchup. They have a ton of healing, obviously. So, we're probably gonna have to be on the lookout for Vengeance pretty hardcore. To make sure um, we can kill, like, Aatrox. It seems decent. It's a little pricey, though. So I'll probably just go Hookmaster. I'm super terrified of fish fight, though. We can't really stop that for a while. So maybe we don't play just on it for a while, but then they're always going to have fish fight available. Hmm. Well, I'm probably going to play this Hookmaster for sure. Quick attack's good. It's also pretty good. We get blown out so hard if they have a catch or a fish fight. If we develop Tristana here. Hmm. I don't even know if you really want to kill the first second Bakai with Buster Shot. It's like not the biggest threat. Maybe I'll just get the minion down the block next turn and we can attack with Teemo here. Or maybe we just attack with everything. Oh, that's so strange. I wasn't expecting that. I think I'm just going to attack with everything except for the Bandle City Mayor. Just to set this guy up for a buster shot and try to keep their board clear so we can try to stick us to Tristana soon. Plus they want to get the Darken Harp on Ranginite Defector, of course. That's what they, they do for the first second Bakai. And so um we can get rid of the Ranginite Defector here. I think that worked out pretty well. Plus, we can swarm the board so easily, we're okay with sacrificing a few units in this matchup because they're never going to have as many as us to match. Alright, they tap out of fish fight, so I'm going to try to just stick to Sana this turn. And if they want to get a nice scout attack, then we're kind of okay with that. I love her voice lines, I don't know why I think they're funny. Some of them seem kind of cheesy, like, I'm just on it, I take point, but just like her voice is funny, I don't know. Very Yordle-esque, I like it. <laughs> what if I just block this? They have one less blocker next turn. We go really wide with Tenor of Terror. I'm okay with that. They don't have an equipment on this yet, so they're going to have to play... Okay, sure. I guess it's whatever. I guess I, I, I should have thought of that. I, I totally forgot about Mentor's Choice. I guess I haven't played against the deck in a while, but that's kind of whatever. Uh, we're getting some spell units down. They haven't equipped anything yet. Oh no, this one, this one still has the Dark and Blood Letters. So they could play Fish Fight if we don't open attack. So maybe we do just open attack. But we have such a good attack here if we develop. Then what happens if they play Aatrox? Only just on attacks, but it's still really good. Do we aloof? If we play aloof and they kill Tristana, then we can play Tenor of Terror, but they won't be as spooky. Uh, 
Wow, I'm really, really bummed here about what to do. I think we just have to take the open attack, right? No, they got an unforgiving cold, so then we get really hardcore punished. Hey, Chuck's gone. We're obviously walking into a fish fight. Ooh, hold on. Because, no, 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 fish fight doesn't work because we can play group shot onto the Forsaken Bakai. Okay, now I'm going to take our attack, I think. And I don't think they're going to want to block through this 2-3. I'm going to put them in the line of fire just to push a little bit extra damage. If they want to take, like, an extra point of damage over here, we're kind of okay with that because they have to block pretty much everything. Like, they're forced to block Tristana. Hmm. Okay. Well, that sucks. Obviously the tough, kind of whatever. But, uh, we do get to kill it afterwards. And there's Aatrox again. Or is that Kane? I think that's Kane, right? I'll kill this thing before they have any pump spells. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, gosh, I'm so dumb. What am I doing? I forgot we don't have um the two damage enabled. Oh, well, what can you do? <laughs> and Aatrox. Sure. Oh, I, I'm... Oh, my gosh, I'm really playing bad. I should have played minion first, because we can always just play Vengeance on stack, right? So, like... <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Well, they give us a chance to develop anyways, but I definitely should have played minion first. And then just Vengeance, Aatrox on stack, right? It's a spooky attack. Do we block, save for damage, and just replay Teemo? I don't think so. I'm going to want to get Teemo's Mushroom Cloud next turn. So we can double it. The draws near. Yes, yours. How aggressive can we get here? We push three impact damage. That puts them down to six. If Teemo does three damage, that puts them down to three. But it'll be leveled, so I'll put them down to two. <laughs> ah, you're kidding. Okay. Swiftly. Well, they only have, they have three blockers. And we'll have hate spike defensively if we need to. Plus atrocity next turn. I'm gonna go all out here. If they block Teemo, I'll just keep Teemo in hand. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna try to push as much damage here as possible. Good thing they blocked me, they would have been dead. That's actually so funny. So we have three blockers, of course. They're forced to develop. They can't really win on the open attack. <gasps> okay. Oh my goodness, hold on a second. Oh, I think we just win. Oh no! That sucks. That's not a card I was playing around. Do we just lose now? I'm so sad, sad about that. No! Wow, I'm so sad. Unfortunate. Shh. 
Should I have been more cautious with just playing Tristana earlier? I feel like she always dies in this matchup though. Like they have fish fight. Oh not fish fight. What am I talking about? That's a totally different deck. I'm in Furious Wielder. Um do they play fish fight? I think they can play fish fight, right? Either way, they have lots of strike spells with their uh, equipment units. And and um Unforgiving Cole is obviously a big punish when she attacks. So I don't feel like she's ever really surviving all that long. And if we wait too long, then they just get like a level cane or a Aatrox to go in. Hmm. They also have lots of healing once they get the champions down. But I feel like we played around that pretty all right. Maybe it was the early units that didn't kill fast enough. Maybe I should be more aggressive with keeping things like Buster Shot and Pokey Stick to try to like eliminate their early units. I do want to stop them from getting the Catalyzer. But none of these cards do it on their own. I'll keep Buster Shot though, because that can do it if we get cards fast enough. Hmm, another slow hand. Not great against Darkness. I don't want to really give them the time to set up. Teemo. Okay, that's a card. Now we can go Teemo. Obviously, if he, like, lives. Okay, sure. So we could Glimpse here. But, uh, I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe it is. We're not gonna have any other times, I guess, to play. To play Goose Beyond without them having like removal up, and it helps us dig really quickly, just as fast as we need right now, because we need card draw right now if they have a catalyzer. Because I'd, I'd prefer really not to sacrifice the Wandering Shepherd, but if it's necessary. Unfortunate. Okay. Early game, not really going our way. Battle City Mayor, though, plus uh, Grandfather Phase, pretty good. I think I like Castaway here. Just get more weapons that can buff up our little dudes. They shouldn't block it, puts them in range of Buster Shot, yeah. Well, I think we just lose if we can't kill this big R soon. And I think this is, in order to do that, we might just have to use double buster shot here. Ah, I mean, I don't even know what to do though. Darkness is pretty much always going to kill our champions at this point. I mean, this is already out of hand for our deck. Like, we literally just, like, can't survive for damage darknesses. I guess we don't particularly need to kill Buster Shot here. We could have developed, a, like, the first Owl Cat so that the Stealthed Roommaker would have a hard time attacking. But if we get the Grandfather Fade on first, the Owl Cats will have four damage each, which is huge. Like, what if there's just defense right here? I'm so sad. We can't do anything about it, though. Like, we literally just have to end the round and give Vagar another turn on board. I feel like that's not very good. But if they play the Darkness or anything first, then they tap out a Stress Defense. So we kind of have the, the green light to play Buster Shot number two. 
Hmm. Okay. Cool. So next turn our development will be really awkward. We're only gonna be able to get a few units on board. Like, do we go over the loof? Is that any good at this point? Or could we go like double owl cats? Equip one with a weapon? I think I'm just going to aloof. There's potential. They don't. They have a champion in hand is the most expensive, but. Improvising is good too. Hmm. I guess improvising is not that good. Maybe we just have to try to storm them out here. I don't want to throw away both owl cats though. Like, if they have a Senna or a Vagar, I don't really know how we come back until we draw Vengeance. I think this is a really, really bad matchup for us. For the wicked, for the dead, I bring rest. Yeah, like, how do we attack now? I guess we can get in with the Owlcats and hope they block and set up, like, Pokey Sticks and stuff. And, like, I don't really want to attack with these two. So our attack isn't all that good if we only attack with, like, Three units over here. But they're just going to kill this unit anyways, right? Maybe I just attack, att attach this to the Hungry Owl Cat and make them block. This is so bad. I don't know how we get out of this. Cause Senna could just darkness something every turn for two mana. And our board just kinda like goes away. <laughs> Oops, I totally forgot to edit the stream title today. That makes sense. There we go. That's a card. I feel like it's so bad though. I'm so scared of like, um, mist call. I think we're just gonna have to rip it though, right? I feel like we're gonna have a really hard time ever even sticking our Tristana though. They never ever have to use their vengeances until we stick a Tristana. A Tristana. Astounding curiosity sky ahead. They still have two Conqueror's cards in hand though. Alright, second Sun is gone, that's good. Third Conchologist. Conchologist cards are really good against our deck. <laughs> They're good blockers, they get um, easy removal for our units. Hmm. 
geography means nothing. I'm not scared about a um withering whale. Maybe I should be, but Purple berry shake, okay. Sure, I'm okay with that play. We're kind of running out of things, though. Ooh, that's good. Team with a weapon's always nice. Fearsome's very good. Splash Shield's nasty. That's actually, like, impossible for our deck to deal with. <laughs> We'd have to use like a Pokestick stick plus a vengeance. And that's obviously very resource intensive for us when we're trying to play lots and lots of cards each turn. I wonder if they're just saving up a ruination here and hoping we get greedy. Sure. I'm okay with that. I don't want them to get spell shield on like a big R. <laughs> That'd be really, really bad. Hmm. That's a little bit more annoying. Bury me at sea. But on the other hand, is uber dead. I guess that's a draw, too. She almost certainly gets insta vengeance though, right? Whoa. If only we had a pokey stick. <laughs> ah, shoot! Sure. I guess we could wall up one of them, right? Interesting. Someday these young scouts could be Vandalwood gunners. Scouts wear helmets. Gunners carry guns. All right. Well, now we're getting actually kind of close. If we can find atrocity, we have to open attack because we know they have ruination in hand, right? I'd love to be able to like you know get rid of this concordus as a blocker, but. Yeah. Top deck of vengeance, sure. I think we're still okay with that. We're getting close. Alright. This one's a really weird game. Ah, rats! Okay. 
We can still Vengeance this big R. And then if they have um, another unit, potentially we can kill it. Alright, so they tapped into group lower nation. So now we get to play minion plus like a fearsome. It's pretty decent. Oh no. It's so bad. Now they get to kill our minion again, so we have to develop next turn. Sure. Hmm. This is so tricky. That's a card. Well, they're just gonna shoot whatever we play, though, so that's kind of a, sh a shame. I'll just take my two damage if they give it to me. So, like, if I play the equipment. Because if I play the equipment, they just play darkness anyway, so there's no way we get out of that really, you know what I mean? Vandal Mayor, heck yeah. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to play Vandal Mayor. Oh my gosh. I'll bait them into a thing I don't have a Tristana, right? And if they play Renation afterwards, we just play our other stuff. Pretty tricky. Box. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think we get there though. Just time should be able to do it. Darkness does five. So I'll put Pot of Pain on her just in case they happen to get another Darkness this turn somehow. Or like, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, but yeah. Alright, it's this or nothing. Let's see if we got it. If we finally drain them out of resources. <laughs> I think we get there. They would have probably played someone by now. I wonder what else is in their hand that they didn't play last turn, you know what I mean? Because if it was like chump blockers, you'd do it. What kind of spells would it be, you know? I don't know, I'm curious. Wow, what a game though. Like, whoever wins this. This minion's a problem now, it's pretty much lethal any turn. Alright, I think our opponent's probably just roping us at this point. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, this is gonna be it. Uh, if you enjoyed, let me know what decks you've been playing, if you've had success with this deck or not. Definitely some tougher de uh, games today than I had in the past few days. Again, I'm not sure if there are quite so much tough matchups or if I'm just not quite good at the deck yet, but I do love playing the deck. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, let me know if you guys give it a try, and I'll see you next time. But for now, I guess we'll wait for our opponent to rope us out as we get the Tristata to finish it off. Alright. Very nice. Casual 22 damage. Alright, GG's. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a good one, and I'll catch you next time.